Hello and welcome to Miniatures Assemble. Today we'll be taking a look at the Karu. This one is a little bit, inter little bit interesting and can be posed in a number of different ways. Well, let's get started with it. Alright, as you can see we have our Karu here. We have uh, quite a few different various pieces here. We have the main body, two arms, we have the claw for the arms, we have shoulder, shoulder pads, we have back pads, a hip joint, two legs, a base, and then the hex base for the maps. So let's start from the ground up. Um, you'll first want to put, put the right foot into the into the base here, which is what it was designed to go into. So I'll just stick a whole bunch of glue in here. Next we'll attach the hip joint. We want to make sure that this is that this is going to go the right way and also keep the mech upright. Now you'll see that this can go both ways. This has a panel in front and then a slotted panel in back. The slotted panel is going to go towards the back. So we'll just take our glue and stick it in. This is taking quite a while to set up, so... <laughs> okay. Now we'll attach the other foot. Okay. Now with that set up, we'll go ahead and attach. We'll go right ahead and attach the base to it. If you notice this, while this is a ball joint, both of these parts are actually flat. <clears throat> so the mech is actually going to sit flat on the on the base. A little bit on the on there, just for good measure. Now, if you'll notice, the arms on here are actually our ball joints, and they are going to go in as a ball on the on the Mac. So, we'll start with the left arm. We'll start, or no, it's not the left arm. This is the right arm. We'll start with that one first, because we have an additional step afterwards. We'll be attaching the claw to it. Now that we have that attached, the claw is going to go in the little holder in the little insert here. And this one is actually going to be is just a little dot in the placement, so it's going to go flush with the against the model. This one's going to hurt putting it on because all three of these things are <laughs> pointed. You could even get it in there in the first place. Another thing to note on here: be sure to clean this off, because there's a lot of loose, a lot of uh, loose metal, on, a lot of uh, loose metal on here, loose metal shavings. Okay. Now that that's set, we'll attach the other arm. This one again is a ball joint. So now that these are on, we'll be attaching these rear pieces on here. We'll start with these joint shields first, which are going to be going in these two slots. Now it doesn't matter which one goes where, because they're not keyed, and they both look the same. So we'll attach this one. Just got to be sure to find the dot. And we'll attach the other one. Okay. And now these back panels 
Now, I've seen these a couple ways. I've seen them go on like this, and I've seen them go on like that. We can always dry fit and double check. I do like them going I do like them going back this way though. So let's put them up put them on like that. You'll probably want to be sure you have enough clearance on the on them because when I was test fitting these earlier they actually were interfering with each other. So I am going to be doing both at the same time. Just to be sure that they don't interfere with each other. It's probably better to put them in this way. Or could even do it on an angle. Okay. Now we're ready to put it on a hex base. Now this one's going to be a little bit lopsided because this whole thing can fit on the bottom. You can see this is semi this is semi flat as well. <laughs> so we're going to be going to be taking some glue, putting it on the bottom here. And we're going to be fitting it onto the hex base. We also got to make sure that this is actually straight on the base as well. Okay, and there we have the completed Karoo. This is ready now, ready for now, ready for primer and ready for painting. So there you have the mech assembly. I hope that was very informative for you. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. You can also leave any requests or suggestions in the same comment boxes. Please like the video if you did like the assembly of it, and be sure to subscribe for more episodes. You can view all the other ep all the episodes I've done here, and then the specific playlist for the Battletech mechs here. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.